In this video, I'm going to be building the best possible team for 500,000 MT in NBA 2K23 My Team. So if you guys have 500k and you want to build the best team possible, in my opinion, I think this is a really good squad you guys can put together and compete with some of the best teams in the game. But at the starting point guard position, is going to be one of my favorite point guards in the game right now. And that is going to be the Galaxy Simple Scotty Pippen, only going to cost you around 70,000 MT after the Super Packs. He's gone down in price a tad bit to like 60 570 75,000 MT and I think that's a really good pickup for a six foot eight point guard who does have a seven foot two wingspan and is going to be one of the better all-around defenders at the point guard spot he's got a 94 block 96 steel 96 lateral quickness 95 perimeter and a 93 interior defense so Scotty Barnes is going to be a super nice lockdown to have at the at the point guard spot and then you take a look at his animations they actually gave him some really good dribble sticks so he can get to the bucket with ease and he's amazing at finishing around the rim I'm not sure what dunk package it is it might be like the quick drops off too or something but he gets some crazy good dunk animations when going to the basket and then his jump shot it's not my favorite release in the game but it's honestly not as bad as i thought it was when i first tried him out so scotty burns got a good jump shot can drive to the basket and gonna be an amazing defender and then you guys know who we got to go with at that starting shooting guard spot it's got to be that man ricky davis i mean this card is an absolute monster at that shooting guard position he's relatively cheap only about 70 to 80 thousand mt right now which is super super good value Value for this Ricky Davis card who I believe is a top three shooting guard in the game he's six foot seven with a six foot ten wingspan his jump shot is just so money man the Seth Curry base is actually pretty good this year it's on cards like Purvis Ellison and if, obviously if you guys use the pink diamond Ricky Davis you guys will know how good this jump shot is with the Oscar Robertson upper on very quick timing they gave the card some good sigs I would have loved to see like the Steve Francis size up or maybe just a little bit better of a size up than the T-Mac like a Garland even like a Kemba Walker I like a lot so T-Mac size up is solid he does have the John Wall escape so his movement's gonna be really good and he can definitely be our main scorer and our and our main ball handler on the starting lineup for the starting three I wanted to get that lockdown card a guy that we can put on ball if we match up against a Terry Dishinger if we match up against a T-Mac we can put this Galaxy with Jonathan Isaac on him and I feel like you know I don't think we can stop Terry Dishinger or we can like completely shut down T-Mac but I think we got a decent job. I mean, Jonathan Isaac, unless you're talking about Bill Russell, is probably the next best guy after Bill to be able to put on ball and stop those really good shooting guards, even cards like Ricky Davis. If you match up against Ricky, you're going to want to put either Scotty Barnes or Jonathan Isaac onto them to really help out in the defensive end because Isaac is one of the best on ball defenders in the game, being six foot 11 with a seven foot two wingspan and having some of the best defensive stats and badges in the game. He's got a 98 block, 95 steel, 97 lateral quickness, 95 perimeter, and a 95 interior defense you take a look at the jump shot i mean not a bad release i think it's a solid jump shot could definitely green in that catch and shoot situation and then dribble six he's just going to move like a kevin durant card which is not terrible for your defensive small forward and a guy that's really just going to be on the court to play lockdown defense now his price is fluctuating a lot right now the cheapest i've seen him is about 65k he might honestly be even a little bit lower but we'll just say around 65 to 70 000 mt he might be even more than that depending on the market because it is fluctuating a lot with the new super packs coming out at the power forward position maybe not the best primary power forward in the game but i feel like for a squad like this having jonathan bender and jonathan isaac at the three and the four is going to be a super nice combo because they're both going to be basically seven feet i mean jonathan bender is seven foot which is absolutely unreal for how good offensively this jonathan bender card is and then if you think he's a little bit too small we also have Jonathan Isaac to play that power forward position. Like if you want to run it in game like this and have Jonathan Isaac on their power forward and Jonathan Bender on their small forward, I think both these guys are going to be super nice to each other, uh, super nice next to each other. But yeah, guys, overall, Jonathan Bender, a really, really good small forward. I mean, his jump shot's good. He's got good dribble sigs. I mean, he moves really, really well for a seven foot card. Like you would think he moves sluggishly or doesn't really, you know, have a quick burst or isn't that fast with the ball in his hands, but that is honestly the complete opposite. Like this card moves really, really well with the ball in his hands and then for the starting center position i wasn't really sure who to go with to be honest i think i'll go dino but which is it's hard because we're going to be undersized so maybe do we go pink diamond d rob do we go mark eden do we go for these big centers i don't really know who to go with i think i'll go with dino we are gonna we are definitely gonna get you know mash a little bit so what i will say is if you guys are building this squad and you're going with Dino at the starting five, make sure that you have Mark Eden in your you know last three spots. Make sure that he's on this team somewhere. So if we do match up against, or if you do match up against a Yao Ming, you match up against a Taco Fall and you're really struggling on defense, you can bring Mark Eden in and he can definitely contain those Yao Ming type of cards. But that's gonna be my starting lineup for the best 500,000 MT squad builder. And then off the bench, 
we got some really good cards. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. Like Luke Walton being our backup point guard is super nice to have. I mean, he's only about 25K. And for that price tag, Luke Walton is one of the better value cards in the game. Being a six foot eight point guard has really good defensive stats, including a 92 steel, 94 lateral quickness, 92 perimeter, 92 interior defense. He's also got a very capable jump shot and can be your main ball handler off the bench. Now, there's a couple different cards we could go with at the backup too. If you guys have been logging in every day, 1000% if you guys got this Glenn Rice card, make sure to play him at the backup too. I think both these shooting guards in Ricky Davis and Glenn Rice will be amazing to have on this squad. Now, if you don't have Glenn Rice and you didn't log in every day, which I do feel kind of bad because Ricky Davis, or sorry, Glenn Rice is an absolute beast of the shooting guard spot, but there's a bunch of different names you can go with for cheap. If you want to go Herb Jones, if you want to go maybe Al Horford because he's a six foot 10 shooting guard, you want to go for one of the free cards like Justin Jackson. He's a really nice two guard Cam Reddish. All of those guys are really nice. I I think for this squad, I will go with Herb Jones just to give us that lockdown defensive presence. I think off the bench, I mean, Al Horford can be your lockdown, but I do think Herb on ball, you know, as your lockdown defender is a little bit better than Al Horford type of card. He's six foot seven with a seven foot wingspan and has amazing all around defensive stats, especially on the perimeter, having a 97 block, 89 steel, 95 perimeter and a 95 interior defense. And then he's also got Hall of Fame anchor, clamps, glove, off ball pass and post lockdown as well. And then offensively, a capable jump shot and... and and does have some pretty decent sigs as well. So for me personally, I'll go Herb Jones at the backup too for only about like, I mean, seven, 8,000 MT. He's so, so cheap and a really good value shooting guard. Now at the backup three, I feel like we need a little bit more offense, a guy that maybe can handle the ball for us and get a lot of buckets. And that is gonna be the pink diamond Poku card. I mean, he's just a little bit worse than a Jonathan Bender. I do think Bender is a better card than Poku by a decent amount, but I think for their price tag in a squad like this, having both of them on the team is gonna be super valuable because Poku just has a little bit worse jump shot in my opinion, maybe a, a lot worse jump shot, but it's not that crazy of a difference. And then his movement is going to be just as good as Jonathan Bender's, maybe not as good, but it's going to be very similar. And this card can move, he can knock down threes and overall be a very solid defender. And then for the backup four, I feel like we need a little bit more defense and size. And that is going to be uh, Gally Soup 11 Mobley, who's going to be a very, very good interior defender. His player model maybe isn't the best in game, but if you look at the card stats and badges, he's seven foot with a seven foot four wingspan he's got a 97 block 90 uh, 90 steel 90 lateral quickness 92 perimeter and a 96 interior defense and then he's got tons and tons of good hall of fame defensive badges like anchor rebound chaser box op brick wall challenger chase on artist clamps interceptor menace pogo stick post lockdown yes offensively i know his jump shot really isn't great but you can move with the card a little bit he can knock down threes wide open and he's also got like 90 speed 90 acceleration which is going to be fairly fast for your power forward and then to round off the squad at the the backup center position once again not too many great budget centers in the game so i feel like we gotta go for this diop card probably the best budget center for under 15,000 mt that's kind of what his price tag is right now about 15,000 mt for this diop card and yes he's not like the greatest center in the game but he does have a really good jump shot and he's gonna play defense like he's seven foot seven foot four wingspan has an amazing wide player build in game being 300 pounds means he's gonna have a really good wide player build which is gonna really help for getting those defensive stops inside the pain and then he's also got like a 94 block 94 interior defense and also a 94 strength as well but easily the best thing about this diop card has to be the jump shot the chris uh, chris bosh base and the oscar robertson upper on quick timing is super super easy to green in my opinion and a lot better of a card than eddie curry or a james wiseman so if you got if you guys have 500,000 empty to spend i do think this is the best possible team you guys can build but make sure you guys are adding in free cards like i said if you guys have glenn rice to use you logged in every day to get this card one thousand percent make sure he's playing in this lineup if you guys have you know kevin garnett you have galley simple Yi, you have maybe even all of a candy these type of centers you guys can definitely run as well and make sure you guys including as many free cards that you guys think are good in the game to obviously put on these squads as well but hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and it did help you guys out and i'll catch you guys in the next one peace